I thought this little scratch all would be a good uh, father-daughter project. It's a pokey thing, Dad. Okay, pokey thing. All right, you see how this has a shiny finish on it? The, the first thing I like to do is scrape that off with a pocket knife. Uh, if you try to sand that off, uh, it clogs the sandpaper. So I take a, a pocket knife and I just kind of... All you're trying to do is get the shiny part off. You're going to have some color that's left behind. You're just trying to get the shiny part off. Okay, you give it a try. Good. Sometimes when I scrape, I might I might take the knife and make it a little bit more, uh, you know, 90 degrees to the thing. There you go. <laughs> Sounds like toots. <laughs> all right, Mag Daughter's going to scrape away, and we'll come back when uh, we got it all scraped together. All right, Mag Daughter, let's see how you did. That looks like you got most of it. I think the rest of it we can get uh, off with the sandpaper. We're only doing this to sort of save on sandpaper. The more you scrape off, the less uh, the sandpaper gets clogged. So let's go over to the, uh, the drill press and get her spinning. Okay, we have the shaft of the awl in the drill press, right? And we're going to spin the wooden handle and sand it. Okay. We're going to start with a 60 grit sandpaper. The lower this number is, the coarser it is. Here, feel that. That's pretty rough, right? Mm -hmm. Let me show you the difference. This piece here, this stuff is 220, right? So feel feel what 220 feels like. It's a lot feel finer. it's finer. So we're going to start with coarse. That'll get rid of a lot of the color and also whatever little bit of varnish is left behind that you didn't get with right. scraping, okay? And that'll make it even smoother. And then we'll work our way down little okay. by little to smoother and smoother. You got it. All right? And go okay, turn it on. see the stripes of the color that's remaining, you know, the old paint. I see a lot of dust. I'm glad you got a mask on. How do I get that stripe right there? Or just press more there? Yeah, try pressing there more. And try, try, try moving your paper like this. Sometimes that helps because you're clogging one little spot on the paper. There you go. Take the paper and flick it. Do it again. There you go. Okay. Yeah, and if you move, if you try to move the paper a little bit this way, it, it keeps them from clogging in one spot. Like, good. All right, try to get that little upper spot. You know you got it because you'll see the color change. And then just kind of adjust to see more color go away. There you go. There you go. Good. All right, so we've been doing all our sand so far with 60. Let's go down to 120. All right, that's the one I usually yeah. use for my stuff. Okay, let's try the 120 out. So you still move plenty of material with 120. And now you're down to bare wood, so it's not going to clog. It'll just be wood dust. Yeah. So we noticed what all the noise was. Go ahead. Pretty good. Now it's quiet. Magdad should fix that, huh? That's getting pretty smooth, huh? Smooth as a baby's butt. There you go. Speaking of the bottom, how's the very bottom feel? It's a little bit flat a little more still. Yeah, it's because you're, you're so close to center that you're not really getting any RPMs on the sandpaper, so it's sort of just spinning in its own spot. We might have to do a little bit of that by hand, but I think we're, we're doing pretty good. Maybe we'll move down to the next grit. All right, so we've been using the 120, 
Now let's get down. Now we're going to get down to the fine grits. This is 220. Now feel feel the difference. This is a brand new piece, but see how smooth that is? Is this the last one, or are we doing another grit? We're going to go uh, to 320. Okay. That'll be the last grit. But this 220, you're not going to move as much sand. Yeah, you're not going to move as much wood, but it's going to make it really smooth. Right. So, so that's a that's the next one to go to. Almost like we're doing pottery, right? Yeah. Like a pot, it's like an upside down pottery wheel. Pottery wheel. Yeah. Did you see the movie Ghost? Yes. When, yeah, it, yeah, when yeah. a girl's working on the pottery wheel and uh, the ghost comes up behind her. Are you we're, the ghost? We're not, we're not doing that scene. That'd be weird since, you know, you're my daughter. But, uh, you know, every time I'm running this thing, I'm wait, waiting for Patrick Swayze to come up from behind me. All right, we're going to go from the 220 you were just using. We're going to go down to 320, and this is going to be the final grit we're going to use. And this is almost, you feel that. It's almost like you can't it even feel it. It almost. Yeah, it's a, you can't even tell which side's the, it's got the sand on it, you know? And that'll give it a nice finish for uh, ready for putting stain or paint or whatever we're going to do, okay? And there's hardly now, any dust coming Now, this off. one you're going to have to, you're going to have to flick the paper a lot because the paper's so fine. See, it's collecting so quick. Yeah. And also sort of saw back and forth more. You can do it slow, but just so you're not in one spot on the paper. That's such a fine paper, even even just the wood closet. All right, so we went through all the grits. What do you think? You think that's pretty smooth? Yeah. Feels good. Except now the only yeah the only issue we got is it's tough to get the very bottom when you're when you're working on the drill press. So we're going to do a little a little handy sandy on that now. Handy sandy. We'll use all the same paper. We're just going to do it by hand. All right. All right. We'll just we'll just put this in the vise, and then we'll use the vise to hold it while we sand the top. You notice, see how see how like rough the jaws are in the vise? Right. That would put a lot of that put a lot of marks in the in the the metal shaft that we'd have to end up sanding out. So that's why I have these jaw pads. These jaw pads are plastic, so they're not going to mark up the metal, and they got magnets on the inside, so they stick to the jaws. The another nice thing about these is they have a smooth side, and then see this side. It's got different grooves cut in it for all sorts of options, right? Oh. So the option I think would work good is if we use this this groove to hold the hold the shaft while we work on it. That way it, it holds it from moving around too much, right? So what I like to do then is say if I'm going to use that groove, I'll just click this in so the groove's kind of in the center of the vise. So we're not working on the edge of the vise, we're working on the center. So if you match match that up roughly, and then we'll tighten this up continually smacking the tripod as we do it because that's what all the pro youtubers do oh yeah they whack the tripod while they work okay and then that's that's pretty tight now you'll notice there is a, there is a grain pattern you see how there's like swirly marks yeah so let's try to sand this way instead of this way as much as possible so yeah, you're gonna you're gonna kind of work all the way around to keep with the grain you got the 60 grit uh, it looks like it um Instead of using 60. Yeah, let's start with 60, but try not to okay. hit everything else we already started on. Should I do circles yeah. or like this way? I would I would I would go Just like that? Okay. like that. You gotta yeah, get a bit of put your, put your back into it there, Mag daughter. Does it feel like it's wobbling around too much? Here, hold on. That's about as tight as I can make that for you. Sometimes I find if I if I use all the sandpaper but push less, like use the whole three inches or whatever the sandpaper, but don't push as hard. Let the let the sand do the work, and you don't have to push. It's already starting to get better. Yeah. All right. Name 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 three things that are more fun than sanding. Uh, watching paint dry. Yeah. Uh, mowing the lawn. And uh, SATs. Yeah, I believe the paint drying and, and the SATs, but you never mowed no lawn. What are you talking about? We live in a condo. <laughs> that's why it's... That, that's, that's why it's better. You're uh, just using your vivid, ima vivid imagination. My, yes, right, yes. Okay. That's why it's better. I've never done it. Let's see what our progress is like. Ah, oh, see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. See, as soon as you switch to the, to the that grit, it seems to do better. All right, Mag daughter. We got the, we got the wood all sanded down nice. This part here... That's called the ferrule. 
that's like a metal band um, you see how it's it's got this like uh, this marking in it all the way around yeah so what they do is they slide the metal band down and then there's a machine that just kind of crimps it in place to make it tight well this one isn't what you would call 100 percent tight but the problem is, is is in here where we see a little rust it's gonna be really tough to get in there and clean that with sandpaper so um, we're gonna try we're gonna try to get this try to get this clean and shiny with the Dremel all right the Dremel. yeah we're gonna use the Dremel mm -hmm. all right so we have our Dremel we have a little wire brush attachment when using a Dremel and wire brushes especially always make sure you have your safety face shield on because these little wire brushes they're gonna come out and fly everywhere Ooh. and you don't want one in your eye all right give it a shot Yeah, I like, I like to keep it on low like that, that's fine. Push it in there. I think it looks a lot better. I guess like maybe in here is a little bit of your problem area. A lot of times what I like to do if I got a spot that I see and I want to make sure I get with the Dremel I'll make it black with the Sharpie that way while I'm working with the Dremel I can kind of see that I'm at, if I, I figure this way if I remove the black then I'm definitely removing you know I'm definitely getting the Dremel in where it needs to go you know what I mean? So now you have something to aim for you know? The next thing we're going to use is my, my homemade scotch Bright discs. Feel them. Feel what they feel like. Fluffy. Fluffy, sort of. right? Okay. And then what we're going to do is you're going to run it along here, this way. And then give it a, give it a turn with your hand, run it, index it with your hand, run it, like so. Okay? All right. All right, so we use the red scotch Bright disc, and this is like a finer. Feel this one. A little scruffier. That should be finer than this. Feel this one? Feel it's rough? Oh, yeah, so this it's one's, like it's finer. Yeah, so this one's going to polish it a little bit more when you use it. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we got the, the wood handle all smooth and protected by tape. We've, we've gone over this ferrule as best we can, get it smooth and clean. Now, what are you gonna call us, the pokey part? It's the pokey thing. The pokey thing, so the business end of the pokey thing needs work. Now, we could probably sand it and everything right in the tool, but I think we should give a shot at pulling this out. Let's see if we can get this out of here. Um, see, if, see, if your, see if your mag daughter muscle can get this out, huh? We're just gonna yoink it out. We're gonna yoink it out. Alright. We got we got the pokey thing in the vise. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a little twisty and a little pull. So twist and pull. Twisty pulling. Alright, okay. mag mag daughter strength. Okay. Twist. Don't break nothing. And pull. Pull. Okay. <laughs> Give it a little twist. I gave it a twist. <laughs> is it going all the way around? Okay, now give it a little pull. <laughs> twist and pull. Oh, you're getting somewhere. A little more. It's gonna come right off. Good. I feel it. I feel it. Hey, there you go. You got it. All right. Good job. Using your mag daughter muscle. That's a lot of effort. Yeah. What made this one so tough to get apart is they smashed down this end. Not really sure why they had to do that on a, on a scratch wall. I mean, you do that like if it's a screwdriver, so so it won't spin. But in a scratch hole, who cares? See, oh. so I'm not weak. I'm not weak. Right, you're not. You're not <laughs> weak. This was, was this was a tough one. It, See? Was, it was how it was made. You're not weak. But we, we got it apart. Okay, we're gonna use the one by thirty sander. The one by thirty sander uses sanding belts. The sanding belts are kind of the same thing. They come with numbers. So that's one twenty. Feel that. One twenty. 
And this one's uh, this one's 220. Feel that, right? And then and then this one's this one's 400. Feel that. All right, so we're going to use these belts to... Um, Hold up our pants? No, these aren't for pants. Oh. We're going to use these belts on the sander to um, sand that shaft. Got it. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to have, we're going to have the shaft in the drill. Right? The drill's going to be running, right? And while it's running, you're going to run... You don't have to press hard, but you're just going to let it run on the belt. This belt's going to be running. And since we're on this side, this belt's going this way, which is which is only tightening the chuck so it's not like this is going to come loose while we're in here so we're going to run it like that get this all nice and shiny right and then you're going to take a little bit of an angle to it like that and you're going to sharpen the point right okay. and we're just going to sort of go wink wink tap it <laughs> you don't have to like push real hard just give it a little bit and we'll see how the point's coming all right and, and we got three grits to go through so if something something doesn't come out with the harsh grit we can go the the next grit and it'll probably come out by that okay all right plan yeah all right Get a feel for it. Okay, keep this moving. Keep it on. And go go all the way down, all the way down to the edge. There you go. That's after 120. And uh Mag Daughter got it. She got it. You got it, killer sharp. <laughs> I could kill somebody with that. There you go. Now it's a pokey thing. Now what we'll do now is we'll just go through the grits and make this nice and smooth and, and shiny. Yeah. Okay. All right, and that last run, you see how the tip has sort of like a gold color to it? Yeah. Okay, that's because it got a little warm. When steel gets hot, it changes color. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, it goes from like this gold, then it'll go to a, like a light blue, then a dark blue, and then it'll start getting towards like a, a purple and then a red. And then like a bright orange. Like a blacksmith, like molten. Exactly. Yeah. The blacksmiths actually use the color. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, yeah. They use the color um, to kind of gauge where they're at um, when they're doing their blacksmithing. And this got to like a, a gold or a straw color. So we got around, that means that tip got, you know, around uh, 400 and 450 degrees Ooh. while you were working. That's more than um, to make cookies. It, it's, it's best not to get it that hot because now you're changing sort of the, the, the heat the temper of the tip, but um, I think as long as you don't turn it black or blue, we're okay. Gold's all right. Okay, the last step on this was with this blue fiber belt. And that, um, that gave it a nice polish. Gave it a finished, sort of a finished look. I can see myself in that. You can almost see yourself in that, huh? Okay, here's what the scratch all, aka pokey thing, looked like before we started. So, Mag Daughter, tell me about this paint job. It's a pokey thing from space! Bring, bring it up closer here. Let me put my hand on it. Bring it up closer so we can see it real good. There you go. There you go. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's like a galaxy, stars black hole. That's awesome. That really came out nice there, Mag Daughter. Thanks, Pop. I wanted to show off the finished product before going back to footage of reassembly and polishing. We get the shaft uh, clamped in the vise, and you're gonna push the handle back on. Okay. Kind of spin it around until it feels like it wants to go. I feel good. Mm, right here. All right, push it on. Okay. Push. Oh, that was not bad. Okay. That was easy. All right, what's next? Ah, flitz it. Dip your pinky in the flitz, just a little tiny bit. That's all you need. Boop. And then uh, spread that around on the part you want to polish. You just need a real thin coat. That's good. That's good. Yeah, and then just you know scrape your pinky off so we don't waste we don't waste the precious flits. It's like gold. It's like gold, and then uh, maybe bend the towel in half, and then give it a 
Wipey, oh, wipey. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How much do I gotta wipe it? You keep going until it squeaks. It's gonna squeak? That's a... Like a mouse? That was Magdad, Magdad humor. <laughs> Let's take a peek. Ooh. Now, flip to a new spot on your towel. And kind of, yeah, and kind of wipe off the residue. Okay. Okay, now get another pinky full. And then and wipe it on the pointy part, yeah, the, the shaft part, yeah. Again, you don't need a whole lot. Now, just be careful and don't stab yourself, right? That would not be fun. No, we don't want blood all over this. I'll have to edit the blood out. <sighs> what a pain. Yeah. Poor mom. You know what I like to do sometimes to protect myself from the point on something like this? Sometimes what I'll do is I'll put the point right on the table, right? And that way I can I can work and I it's almost impossible to stab yourself. And then just turn it a little bit, work some more, turn a little bit, work some more, right? Let me um let me let me load you back up just to t uh, just to scotch. Yeah, it's plenty. Try that. All right, Mag daughter. All right, Mag dad. What did you think of this project? I think it was pretty cool. Did you have fun? Yes, I did not impale myself, which is very nice. So, uh, did you learn some things? Oh, yeah. Do you want to try doing a, another uh, father-daughter project in the future? Perhaps. All right, we'll have, to, we'll have to think something up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, thanks, thanks for spending time in the shop with me. Thanks for making a pokey thing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. All right, what's next? Wink, wink, flip it. <laughs> flip it. Quack, flip it. Move, flip it. Flip it. Cacao, flip it. Oh, 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 oh,